What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Today's gonna be a vlog. I'm gonna take you guys through my day. We got some exciting news. It's even gonna be a full day of eating with some on the go recipes. Super simple to make and we got a leg workout with a special guest. Yes, back to back leg days on this channel. What is going on? Buy yourselves lottery tickets. So it's a little after 9.30. This is when I typically have some breakfast. So let's make breakfast. Hi right, y'all. So the first thing we are making are some protein muffins and guys. Guess what? Muffins are not healthy, but for some reason they have snuck their way into becoming a breakfast staple. But in my opinion, muffins are for people who just don't have the guts to order cake for breakfast because they are very similar macros. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make some healthy muffins that you can prep ahead of time for the week with only a couple ingredients that are healthy, high in protein. So this is what you are gonna need right here. So you're gonna need two scoops of any protein that you want. So I'm using vanilla cake batter by Blue Star. Batter, hardly know her. Link in the description, 10 to 10 to get 10% off. Then we got ourselves one cup of applesauce. I mean, I probably shouldn't use like the snack packs. Probably should get a big thing. Not the most ideal. So this is what is gonna bring the calories down. This is gonna be replacing the egg, the oil, the butters and stuff like that. You're gonna need half a cup of any sort of smooth nut of your choice. I'm using PB2, but feel free to use literally any smooth nut of your choice. You're gonna need one teaspoon of baking powder and then half a cup of almond flour. And then that is, that's it. So I only need two and a half of these, so guess who's gonna get the other half of this one? Ollie, bro. Come here, dude. All right guys, so this is the batter. So that was it. it. Took me a couple minutes to put together. So I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. We're gonna put the muffins in for 10 minutes now. So this is just the straight batter. So you can pretty much put whatever you want here. Put blueberries in, put carrots in, put nuts in, put magic mushrooms in. I'm gonna go with some uh, chocolate chips, of course, THC infused. In terms of measurement, I'm not gonna really measure anything. Measure the shit with, with your heart, man. Chocolate never needs to be measured. That looks about good. And there we go. So now we're gonna put these in little muffin tins in the oven, 10 minutes. Just waiting for the muffins to finish up. And like, look at this guy. Like, look at this guy's setup here. So he's one bed, two bed, three bed, and then his favorite blanket. So he kind of has like this choice, but then he always ends up just sleeping on the hardwood. Like, what, what's the deal with that, dude? Which one are you going to? Okay, it's this one. Is that one? Yeah, that's that one. All right, so for breakfast, I'm having three of the muffins and the macros of the muffins are 135 calories, 13 grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, and four and a half grams of fat. These are amazing, taste like dessert, and they're extremely cakey. So let's go and have a bite here. Mm. Coffee is like the perfect bridge to muffin. I find almonds to be such a sneaky nut. They're in so many things. And you, you don't really know that they're there, but they, they pack a punch. If, if they weren't there, you would know that they're, they're not there, if that makes sense. They're not like cashews or peanuts that are so like overpoweringly, like overpoweringly nutty. I tell you what, I have not made many muffins in my day. I buttered many. That's why they called me the muffin man in high school. But I have nailed this recipe, I tell you that. You have to try these out. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the last muffin, then I got a little surprise for you all. And that exciting news is I got myself a condo. So come on in, I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour here. So here it is, move in day is September 1st. Uh, two bedroom plus a den, so I'll show you guys around. So here is the uh, office with these like nice blue cabinets and stuff. Tons of editing is gonna go down in here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably be spending most of my time in here. The second place I'll probably be spending most of my time is obviously the kitchen. So. Guys, get used to this scenery, get used to like being right here, me with my apron on and just cooking away nice and bright how I really wanted it to be. Uh, over here is the master bedroom where all the magic happens, but let's be real, don't do not make it this far. This will probably be actually Ollie's room, so here's the master, nice chandelier, and then we got the bathroom here. Uh, I wish there was a bidet, but we'll see how much that cost to install that. And then we got a nice walk-in closet which is still probably not enough room here. I know that I think about it. Pretty much just for gym clothes. And then we'll get out to the main area. So this wall right here, I'm actually getting a subscriber to paint like a massive thing, like a donut, like a mural, donut memoir. Is that what you call it? Maybe a donut memoir, yeah. mural? Mural, yeah, on like the wall here. So that's gonna be pretty sick. 
Uh, gonna obviously have the TV here, a nice little fireplace to set the mood. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And then here, so it's backing onto a golf course. So I'm actually not in the city now. I just didn't think it was really worth it. It's so expensive to live in the city and just like the pricing for what you get is just, it's, it's insane. So probably gonna put a nice mirror here. And then we're gonna get to my room, which is the guest room. So over here, I'm gonna call this the, the food challenge bathroom. So after like an insane food challenge, we're gonna be like dropping some mad bombs. This is gonna be this one here. So I don't have to worry about the smell in the master one. So just a nice shower, the toilet, which I'll be seeing you pretty soon, I would imagine. And then here is the guest bedroom. Quite similar to the other one, just it's like a little bit smaller, um, not a walk-in closet, just like a standardized thing like that. And then over here is the laundry, which I gotta learn how to do laundry. I, don't, I, don't, I know it's embarrassing. Don't quite know how to do laundry yet, but that's why I got Katie. She, she loves doing laundry, so there that is. So this was the place I wanted from the get-go, but then what happened was someone else actually snagged this place and I thought I actually lost it, but then the guys who got it, like they like backed out of it. So it seems like the universe is on your side sometimes. So this is the place. Get ready for it September 1st, and I just wanted to show you guys before the workout, so let's go to the gym. So we just arrived at the gym, about to do a workout with Tristan Lee. So for those of you guys who don't know who he is, he's that 18-year-old kid. I think he just turned 18 like a few days ago. That's absolutely jacked and shredded to the bone at 18 years old. Meanwhile, me at 18, I was like shredding up the covenant in Halo. So it's crazy what this kid has done at 18. And uh, we're gonna be following his routine today because obviously he is doing something right, and I'm sure it's gonna be nothing short of absolutely brutal, so let's go and do it. Okay, I'm here with my boy Tristan, just as shredded in person as he's on Instagram, so <laughs> you're gonna be taking me through the, the workout. And um, yeah. I said you usually train just heavier and less Heavier, reps. yeah. So the, yeah. the volume is like, this is like equivalent to like, probably six of my leg days in this one leg day, to be honest. So yeah. it's gonna be nice. Okay, so first exercises, got a superset just to get warm. So I'm starting light and I'm gonna work up to heavier and heavier weights. Gonna do some holds and stuff. So I'm squeezing the rep at the top. We're gonna probably do like 12 to 15 reps on each of these. Okay. Just feel it out and get blood in the muscle. But leg extension, supersetting with uh, lying leg curls. So two opposing muscle groups. Yep. And then after that, we'll get into a heavier, more compound movement. Okay. Since I'm dealing with the shoulder injury, we'll do Smith instead of normal barbell back squats. Okay. We'll do that. And then after that we can go into more yeah. just higher volume less compound okay movement. four sets five sets three. four four to five sets four to five here sets. just feel it out okay yeah. this guy's legs is freaking nuts man but if only we could trade uh, muscle groups like pokemon cards like yeah. you could give me some legs and i could give you some uh i don't know maybe some i got nothing man maybe some upper Everybody chest wants half. I try to keep my hips in the pad the whole time so I'm squeezing my glutes so yeah. I'm hitting more of the tie-in versus just hitting the yeah. lower portion of my hamstring. And what I actually like to do with this so that there is, again, no momentum is I'll come down, yeah. shorten to here so it's a slight partial, yeah. and then drive up from there. So there's no momentum from the bottom of the movement, oh. but I'm still squeezing. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. There's like legit, like an alien growing in the back of his legs. <laughs> Extra terrestrial shit. <laughs> Okay, so quick little recap is that we're doing leg extensions and then when you come up, you wanna do a three to five second isometric hold. Come down slowly, pause at the bottom, then one second explode on the way up. Uh, 10 reps like that and then five reps normal normal pace. Then we are going over to the lying hamstring curl. We're doing 10 reps with a partial rep and then the last five just regular tempo, back and forth, five sets. Come on, drive. Come on. Two more, come on. Five, come on. Okay, so that was the warm up. So now we're moving on to uh, Smith uh, Smith machine squats. So how many reps for Smith machine squats are we doing? 12 to 15 probably. Okay, four sets? Yeah, but it's gonna be more like quad isolated rather than like both. So I'll come down, get a nice stretch in my quads, and then just drive through my You're heel. You're going up onto the heels, pose up? Yeah. Okay, it seems like it's like mimicking a leg extension on the way exactly, up. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's more of an extension rather than a press. Right. Come on. Three. Four. 
did the warm up. We did the uh, Smith machine squats. Now we're moving on to the leg press. We're gonna do like high and wide. And uh, when we unrack it, we're doing a 30 second hold before we even start the set. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. I haven't done anything like that. Right now my legs are on fire. Like here? Uh, a little lower. Like halfway down, yeah. There you go. Leave two to three in. Man, I know what 20 seconds feels like. That did not feel like 20 seconds. 25. Come on. There you go. 27, 38. Three, six, eight, five. That's about that the longest five seconds in the world, wasn't it? Ten. If only it was the same for her. <laughs> 15. Oh, it's easy. Come on. 20. Come on. Well, he hates me. He's like, I'm, I'm never filming with this kid again. For real, man. <laughs> Alright guys, so the workout is done. Thanks everybody. Of course. It's an absolute pleasure to work out with this guy. So we're gonna do some more stuff down the road. Maybe he's gonna do one of my workouts. Let's do it. 100%. Yeah, so once body, I get this shit once the shoulders all figured out, we'll do some overhead press and uh, maybe we'll get him to do a, a cheat day. A first cheat day in three years. We'll see. <laughs> uh, definitely after that leg workout, I need to go eat, so I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Okay, so it is time for lunch and I am starving from that workout. So luckily what we are making right now is super simple to make and very quick. So we're making some stuffed avocado with some canned tuna. So I have two cans right here. A full avocado is going in. We got some tomato, some cilantro, a juice from one whole lime, uh, bell pepper, and then uh, jalapeno, which is optional. If you, don't like, if you don't like spicy food, I have one question for you. When are you turning 13? So we're going to just put this all into a bowl, mash it up, and then put it back into the avocado, which is just optional, but this is just for YouTube, and I want it to look kind of pretty. So yeah, very simple, just salt, pepper, that's lunch. So I usually go for the tuna that is in water. You can obviously get the one that's in oil, but it'll just add a lot more calories. So for one of these tins is 120 calories. That's why I go for two because the macros are just so good. Uh, I'm sure the one with oil will taste really good, but you just gotta kind of trade off if you have the fat for it. All right, so now the moment of truth. Let's see if this avocado is actually ripe. Okay, sweet. Nice of you to be with us for the 13 minutes that you're actually ripe and not rotten. Just about 100 grams of avocado. So we have all the veggies in, and we're just gonna add our tuna. Then we're gonna add our lime juice. So I usually have to roll it a little bit before I cut it. It helps get the juices going. Now we just mash it up. So typically I would do um, one full avocado for every can of tuna that I use, but I'm pretty low on calories for the day because it's almost three o'clock right now. So I'm just doing a little bit of catch up. And this is like such a quick meal to make, such a good snack option too. Make this for the week for work. This is just a great on the go recipe. All right guys, so this is gonna be my lunch. I have this, I have all this here. Macros and calories will be on the screen right now and I'm gonna enjoy this and do some editing. All right, so I just brewed like my 
fourth cup of coffee of the day right now. And the current time is just about 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Still working on this video. I'm just editing the uh, workout footage with Tristan here, getting some PTSD looking at that leg press footage. So uh, I'm actually going for dinner with my grandma, Katie and Victoria at 7 p.m. So in just a couple hours. So I still wanna have a snack, nothing too heavy. So this is what I've been having recently. Uh, I like to call these like turkey roll-ups. So I just have like a sliced kind of like turkey breast and then inside I like put like a tablespoon of hummus and then any veggie that I have on hand. So today was cucumbers, red peppers, and cilantro. Feel free to put like cream cheese is really good in there as well. Carrots, like the list goes on and on. Then on the side I have some blackberries and some cherry tomatoes. And that is my snack, very filling, high in protein, and just keeps you full. So I am gonna choose the giveaway winner from the Q&A video for the five pound tub of Funky Monkey Protein. So I'm just gonna choose right now live in the video and uh, see who wins it. So I'm just gonna scroll, keep on going. Okay, let's see if I can find an Instagram handle now. Uh, okay, so Clement Liu, I'll put the comment on the screen right now. You have won the five pound tub of Funky Monkey. Congratulations, I will reach out to you on Instagram. And uh, don't worry guys, there'll be tons more. These are so good. So I'm at Katie's house right now waiting for her to get ready for dinner. Girls would be girls, but that's fine. Just catching up on some steps in the backyard. So I've had 1,200 calories roughly today. So I have tons of wiggle room tonight. So we are actually going for Indian food. Now I have no idea how Indian food is made. And food that you don't know how it's made is a lot like seeing a dating profile from the neck up. You think you have an idea, but you could be in for a big surprise. So with that said, I have no idea how the calories are for curries. There could be lots of fat, lots of carbs in it. So with that said, I'm probably just gonna stay away or at least minimize the amount of rice, breads, stuff that won't really add to the experience. So just gonna mainly stick with like the curry, the chickpeas, kind of stay away from the white rice. Yeah. Plain one, yeah. But it's very nice. What are you drinking? Um, it's supposed to be Sauvignon, I think it's Chardonnay. Yeah. Do you know the calories of that? Good. Why are you drinking your calories? Because... Same with you, Grandma. That's my grandma, by the way. That's the, the mother of my father that I don't have. <laughs> and here's Katie. She's drinking water because she's dating me and she knows about calories and stuff. And uh, so we just ordered some vegetable samosas. Okay, so we have the veggie samosas here. Two orders of that with a green chutney and tamarind like sauce. Like mint chutney or These things are girthy. Yeah, These are some girthy samosas, Grandma. Look at these things. Uh, oh, oh. Nice. oh, there it is. Mm. You gotta love the person who came up with appetizers. It's like, let's pre-game with food before food. Oh man. So this is what we ordered here. This is the chicken vindaloo, not vindaloo, but then my grandma corrected me, it's actually vindaloo. Then this is the chicken sag. And so it's like chicken, cubes of chicken breast with like a spinach, kind of like cream, creaming, cream spinach type of thing going on. Then we got some uh, chana masala, which is just some chickpeas. Then we got eggplant berta. Is that right, berta? It's just like mushed up eggplants. Then we got some naan. I was trying to think of an Indian joke, but I got naan. So these are actually <laughs> gonna be like the utensils for today. These are actually garlic infused. Then we have a couple things of uh, rice, and then that's dinner. So this is the chicken vindaloo. Extremely spicy apparently. It actually looks pretty potent, to be honest. Let's get some extra sauce action going. You have to eat that on camera. I will. Chicken vindaloo taste test on camera here. We got a saucy piece. I did. Did you? Not spicy at all. They just drink it with straw, it's fine. I think they just came out and like profiled us and they're like, nah, we can't give them the real shit. Grandma, you're nursing that five ounce. So dinner was sick, everyone got froyo. I'm gonna go home and have coffee because coffee and Indian food just go together hand in hand. It's never too late to have coffee because it's morning somewhere. What flavor did you guys get? I got cherry cheesecake. What flavor did you get, Grandma? Pineapple. My grandma got pineapple, she knows what's up. Uh, so I tell you what, I am excited for tenning around the world in India. I don't know if I'm like extremely grossly full or not full at all. I don't know if it's just like 
Indian food has such intense flavors that I'm just kind of trying to like get over that in some way. I don't know if it makes sense. So I might have some ice cream when I get home. Not sure, but I'll let you guys know. Came to the conclusion that I'm actually not that hungry. So I'm getting ready for bed right now. Before I wrap up this video, I wanted to show you guys a skin product that I've been using for my Keratosis Polaris that a subscriber actually showed me. So I actually have Keratosis Polaris on my cheeks. It's like that redness that I get. Oftentimes people get it on their upper back and their arms, like those are like dots. I know a lot of you guys actually have it as well, but I tried a lot of things. Nothing has worked quite like this. And that's this Walita skin food stuff. So I put it on every single night before bed. It's like a very intense like hydration thing and has made the world of a difference like within like literally two weeks. So highly recommend you guys check it out. They have it at like Walmart, pretty much any sort of like pharmacy or like grocery store. They, they, they will probably have this and it's very not that expensive. I'll actually link it down below like an Amazon link if you guys want to check it out. Just thought to let you guys know this is pretty sick if you guys have the same issue as me. So I'm going to wrap up the video here guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.